I regret moving to Hawaii. I've been really scared to make this video because there's so much controversy, but really I just want to make this video one as a real apology to the native people here for the fact I came here ignorant. I just showed up uninvited. So I watched the whole video, which is a little bit longer. And I feel like this is a very touchy subject. Do I believe the world should be open to everybody? Yeah, absolutely. I strongly believe that every person should have the right to leave the country if they desire. I think not just people with strong passports should be able to travel. I think everybody should have the right to do that. At the same time, traveling and moving away cause a lot of CO2 emissions and therefore are really a huge problem considering our climate crisis. And also the places we go to, we tend to destroy, no matter if it's tourism or moving somewhere and gentrifying a place. I personally was long very much against it. I thought I will never step foot in an airplane. I developed away from this perspective because I understood that me alone, I'm not the cause of our climate crisis. So the guilt I was feeling as a human being not being perfect was not really helping anybody. It's the same with tourism. You alone, as a person traveling somewhere, you're not the cause that people suffer from negative aspects of tourism in the place you're visiting. It's way more a whole industry that benefits of those things, that promotes them, that really is the cause of that. And still, we are participating in it. I understand the struggle of this creator so well, because what are they supposed to do? They can't really leave the island, they're in love, they don't want their spouse to have to leave their country just to stay together. But while being there, they constantly feel like they did something wrong. This is gonna sound upsetting to some people, I think, but I truly think the solution is neither to demonize people that travel or that did something like move to Hawaii, nor to just go on with life and not care about those things and travel wherever you want. I think the first step is actually sitting in the discomfort, but we don't want to do that. We want a solution. But if we allow ourselves to sit in the discomfort, we can understand that just jumping to innocence, jumping to a solution that truly is no solution, causes more harm than good. I understood this deeply once I learned about the whole Greenpeace 2000, I think it was 2014 or 2004, I don't know, the whole Greenpeace anti-seal hunting campaign, where I understood that even though I thought as a child that the campaign was doing good things, I later, when I was in university, learned that this campaign, this specific campaign, destroyed the life of indigenous people living off the seal hunt. So we see a bad thing happening, namely an industry that benefits off hunting seals. We jump to the conclusion, we jump to innocence and totally wanting to ban seal hunting and destroying the life of indigenous people while doing that. Maybe we just take a deep breath and sit in the discomfort for a little bit and actually think about the next step before just trying to be politically correct again and rescuing ourselves in the oh no, I'm such an innocent person corner. None of us are innocent. We live in post-colonial times and for people who do not know what that means, that doesn't mean colonialism is over, it means we still live in entanglements of colonial structures. Sexism, racism, queerphobia, all those things on a global scale still take place because of the colonial project. And we as white people, I think, have to stop constantly to try to be innocent. By trying to be innocent, we just jump to the next solution that truly doesn't benefit anybody but ourselves. Because now we are totally politically correct, now we did everything right, now we're innocent. So I think what this creator is doing is truly great. They acknowledge the situation they're in. They are ready to actually experience the discomfort and trying to do better. And true solutions, true things we could do differently, I believe at least, will come on that way of sitting in this discomfort.